Ah, happy dog farm product review time. On your left is a bulldog 2,000 pound trailer jack. On the right is a Hallmaster from Harbor Freight 2,000 pound jack. Um, I'll let you shop and compare the prices, but there's a significant price difference between them. What happened is the one on the left, which looks worn and tired, has been on a trailer for several years and it froze up. Won't work, dead. And I decided to take a chance and get the Harbor Freight one. Now, the thing is, these use welded brackets. You have one you already know. But here's the beautiful thing. The welding bracket that you use on a Harbor Freight is identical in dimensions to the one on the Bulldog. So if you've already got one of these welded on, pop the C-ring and you can slide on the Harbor Freight model. Now, taking a little look, what happened here? Well, it took me a while. I I will say, Bulldog, I eventually got a hold of a helpline. Uh, did, I did not get much documentation with it. It just sort of came. But Harbor Freight actually puts it in a box and gives you a manual and shows you how it's assembled. So I took the handle assembly off in the interior guts, unwillingly came out. I did the same thing to the Harbor Freight and they came out willingly. And right away, what I noticed in the difference was huge shoulder washer, big thrust bearing, and a working surface. This is what you get from the more expensive model. This whole section here has been corroded and these are pressed into place. You know, they ding it so there's a little, there's a thread there's your threaded section, I guess you'd call it the nut, that would have locked in there. And you can see it's not very big. And that's it. That's what you get inside of, with two very distinct notches to hold it in place, that's what you get inside of the Harbor Freight model. Bottom line is the Harbor Freight model, while they look similar and the thrust tube may be similar, there's a lot more work went into this one. I don't want to deal with this again for another decade. So I took the rod all the way up and I put anti-seize compound on the threads just to make sure that they don't lock up on me again. So I'm just going to say it is in my humble opinion that dollar for dollar, Hallmaster wins. It is a form, fit, function, direct replacement for a Bulldog if you already have one. You don't have to mess with that welded plate. You get a better ring too, way better ring. And just open the C-clip, pop your bulldog off, put it in scrap metal pile, slide on the Hallmaster, and you are going to have a much better day. I do recommend undo the little handle hardware here, slide it out, and put a coat of grease in there on those threads just to save you some trouble. The foot on the bottom of these is sealed on the bottom, but if they're put together right, and this one you get a nice, a large shoulder washer and the like, help you keep rain out of the tube, but you may want to drain it every now and then. You know, flip it 180 and, and the water will run out. Okay, that's it. Harbor Freight, one, Bullmaster, not so much. Okay, just one more thing, or two more things I want to show you. Get down and close in here. Okay, first of all, if you had a bulldog on, save the bulldog clip. The, it is thinner, thickness-wise, than the Harbor Freight clip. So the Harbor Freight clip will not fit in the groove that you already welded on. So, save the clip. Kind of a pain. Also, when you're trying to hold this assembly up against the frame to put the clip on it's a real pain but if you remove the retainer clip for the spring get that out of the way then this just presses up you know kind of easy peasy then you get the clip on then once this is in place put the pin slide that back pop the retainer clip back in and you get this really nice handle there and it all comes together but the real takeaway message on that little spot is save the clip that matches 
the part that was welded on because they are different. That is the that's the only iota difference there. All right, take care.